What is going on guys? My name is Jesse E.B. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I release weekly content in regards to e-commerce, Shopify dropshipping, and everything online entrepreneurship. If you're new to my channel and don't know who I am, I suggest taking a look at my channel trailer. It's only two minutes. I introduce myself and give you guys a little bit of inspiration. But basically, I want you guys to know I'm not a slimy marketer like every other Shopify guru out there that's not actually doing Shopify and just funnels you guys in to sell you things and that's what they do for a career. They essentially sell you a dream and just sell you some bullshit. I've been doing e-commerce for two years now and I've had success with it the entire time. I've made it my goal to help as many people as possible for completely free because nobody has ever helped me. So if you're interested in some free valuable content, consider subscribing. If you guys have not started Shopify yet, in the description I have a link that goes to an extended free trial so you can get 30 days free instead of 14. Whoa. So be sure to take advantage of that. In today's video, I'm bringing you guys lots of value. I'm not really sure the keywords that I need to use probably not going to be ranked on YouTube, but it'll bring value to those that are subscribed and come across it. I'm going to go over three vital tips to keep your customers happy and keep them coming back for long-term sales. So many people want to jump in and make one sale and never see the customer again. Well, I'm going to go over some vital tips that keeps them coming back. And just as a reminder, guys, be sure to check out all the links in the description. There's a lot of valuable resources there. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the powerful content. <clears throat> all right, all right. So avoiding and preventing Shopify dropshipping returns. Less returns and happy customers. Oh, just got a sale. All right, number one. The entire process from advertising and marketing to the sales process and closing the sale, everything needs to be a smooth process and go with the grain psychologically. So there needs to be congruency throughout the entire process. The photos from the advertisement all the way down to thank you email need to be congruent. The photo ad needs to be the same photo as the sales page, the checkout page, in the event of a retargeting email, in the event of an abandoned checkout email, all the way to the thank you email. It all needs to be congruency. This tells the customer on a subconscious level that everything is smooth. The human brain's constantly looking for patterns and it all just needs to be running smooth so that the customer has a pleasant experience. Even down to the thank you email because we want the customer to enjoy the entire process so that they come back. So just the example here of kind of the entire process, you see here it's the same cat necklace for each event. So the photo that's on the ad, the sales page, the checkout page, if you have a retargeting email or if you have a retargeting ad, it's the same image used. But you could kind of see how this process is smooth going all the way through and how it's really necessary. Now you could kind of see here how the wrong process would be. You have different images on each one and it just kind of throws bumps in the road. Psychologically, somebody is seeing this cat necklace, but then they see it again, but it's not quite the same. And then they see it again, it's not the same. It's just It just messes up the entire process and people need to be marketed to and go through the process and have a pleasant experience by having that smooth going with the grain psychologically. Logically. I just noticed the lighting's kind of bad. Sorry about that. It's uh, stormy outside, so I'm not getting too much natural light coming in here. So to continue on with the congruency, the image and the actual product should be congruent. So we're talking about the physical product compared to the actual image on the sales page and ad and everything like that. You guys have probably seen a lot of times products coming from China where you order something and it looks one way in the picture, but when you receive it, <coughs> excuse me. You gotta do it for grandpa, Morty. You gotta put these seeds inside your butt. It looks a little bit different. Even if it's just a minor difference, it kind of throws that psychological bump in the brain where it kind of gives a bad experience for everybody, even if it's on a subconscious level. Overall, the customer's not going to have a good experience if the product's showing up and appearing different than it did on the photo. So to avoid this, you can order a sample of your product and actually stick around to the end because I have a powerful bonus tip of the day on this topic. But when you have a sample of your product, you can compare the photos and make sure that your product is the same as what's being advertised in your photos. Or when you have the product yourself, you could go ahead and take your own photos. That's ideal. Get your own professional photos. 
doesn't have to be anything crazy. Your iPhone is plenty. So some of you guys might be broke and you're really just starting out. That's the case for a lot of people. Something that you need to have on your sales page and it needs to be very clear. I'm not talking about put this in tiny font so that they barely see it or they overlook it. It needs to say actual product may vary slightly from image due to product enhancement. That indicates that we're always working and improving on the product so it might come back it might come out a little bit different than what's photoed and if you're drop shipping it's probably a good idea to keep this on your sales page regardless because the manufacturer might switch things up on you and not inform you but you want to be building a strong relationship with the supplier so that you guys are in communication with all this but as a safeguard I don't think it'll hurt if you just have this sort of disclaimer on your sales page all right number two guys the shipping times need to be very clear you don't want to leave anybody surprised with your shipping time so something you could add on your sales page is due to extremely high demand please allow blank to blank days for delivery and what a lot of people don't take into consideration is the processing time that needs to be included on the estimated time for delivery these suppliers sometimes take five to seven days just to process your order and then you have the shipping time on top of that so you have to calculate that in the estimated time, delivery time that you tell your customer. Here's the example here of the different processing times that various vendors will have. So just pay attention to that and incorporate it on your estimated time. But I have a question for you guys. I'd like to hear your feedback in the comments below. Do you guys think psychologically it's better to offer an estimated delivery time in weeks or in days? So for example, due to extremely high demand, please allow two to three weeks for delivery or due to extremely high demand, please allow 14 to 21 days for delivery. I think psychologically when people hear 14 to 21 days, it sounds like less time than two to three weeks. I don't know. Let me let me know what you guys think. I'm curious. That's why I'm asking. Let me know in the comments below which you think is better psychologically, weeks or days. All right, number three, you guys, you want to find the complaints that people have and on your sales page and throughout the entire process, you want to address the complaints very clearly. So for example, I was selling a product. Actually, I'll flash it up here right now. I was selling this case and around the internet on Amazon and everywhere else that it was being sold in a lot of quantities. One of the major complaints I saw was that it did not include a battery. Now, when you're drop shipping, you don't want to include any batteries. Coming from China to America, it has to go through customs. If you have anything with batteries, it's gonna slow down the process and it's gonna get held up because in some cases, batteries are dangerous. So you wanna avoid shipping batteries at all. So if you're shipping something that requires battery, on the sales page, you need to make it very clear that it does not include a battery. This is all what I'm talking about, having a smooth process psychologically, because I'm sure you guys have received a product at some time and been bummed out every time it doesn't come with a battery. Now, if you are aware that it does not come with a battery, then you can be prepared for it. Maybe you pick up a battery when you're out next while you're waiting for the product to arrive. So on your sales page, you wanna make it very clear which battery it requires and make it very clear that it does not include one. But as a bonus to really make the customer happy, you want to specify which battery it includes so that they could go pick it up if they want to. And if they inquire, they could you could just tell them it's for safety that you're not including shipping batteries. But you guys want to go above and beyond. So when you send a thank you email for that specific product, make it very clear that it does not include a battery and make it very clear which battery they do need so they could go ahead and go pick it up. This is just avoiding more mild annoyances so that the entire overall process is good and they have a happy experience on a subconscious level with your store and they come back and they purchase from you again when you start cranking out some email marketing to them and you could learn about the email marketing in that video that I mentioned before all right you guys powerful bonus tip of the day so a lot of people don't know this but you could order samples locally order products that you see on AliExpress go ahead and order them from Amazon or order them pick them up at the store or whatever a lot of these items are available on Amazon available uh, all over the internet locally in your country but you're gonna be paying a premium but you're gonna receive it in just a couple days too so if you can afford afford it you can actually order the samples receive it in a couple days take your professional photos and be rocking and rolling because remember a lot of this Shopify drop shipping is creating a impulse buy for people now people might not necessarily think they want that Game Boy case that I showed them earlier so they might not necessarily go to Amazon to go find it but when you create great 
marketing and you create an impulse situation, then at that point, they wanna go ahead and buy it on impulse. So that a lot of times is what we are doing, creating these impulse buys for people. So the fact that it's available on Amazon isn't necessarily gonna kill your sales, but you could take advantage of that fact. You could pay a premium, go ahead and pick it up on Amazon and take your photos. Do me a solid real quick before you go, drop a comment and a like below. It helps spread my content to other people and prevent as many people from being scammed as possible. That was three tips to keep your customers happy and coming back. All right, peace out.